lots of passes, lots of offloads. So we know like them, uh, they're they're a threat right across the, across the team. Great, that's great. Thanks very much. No Jamie, Steve, can I just ask about the two Rorys? Do you have any um, idea how long they'll be missing for? Is it just um, minor injuries? Or? Yeah, look, I think um, the medics are still doing a couple of things, um, and it hasn't been exact timelines, but yeah, I think probably it, it might be a struggle for, for the autumn. So we just just assessing those uh, uh, in due course, and probably Greg has got more, more updates on those. Okay, yeah, and then and just obviously you had a, a spell in uh, Australia yourself. Did you get a good insight into um, the kind of mindset of the Australian rugby for that? Does that help get into this week as well? <laughs> Uh, yeah, well, hopefully there's, there's an insight in how they want to play. Um, yeah, an awesome time um, in the Waratahs, and I think that the mindset of the Aussies and around how how they want to play rugby really attack attack minded. But I think when you look at them now, they, they're really solid defensively as well. So they've got got a real good game both sides of the ball. But yeah, that intent to play, express themselves, and and just just they they just love love playing rugby. They've got lots of energy in around it and. Yeah, it was a really good experience for me being out there for, for a couple of years. Thanks, Gavin. Jamie, did you want to follow? Yeah. Hi, Steve. Um, Hi. Obviously, you yourselves, like Australia, are a side that like to entertain and play sort of front foot rugby. Yeah. The fact that they are so free scoring, does that mean your job at the weekend is to sort of contain them first or will you still go and take the game to them? I think we were at home. We, we, we got a, probably a sellout crowd, and I think the, the, the style of play we, we want to express ourselves and, and we want to take hold of the game. And we know the Aussies will will have the ball for large periods as well. But in around our mindset, we're at home. But we want we want to play our own style of game, and that's whether with or without the ball. I think we've we've had a good balance over the last couple of years, with or without it. So I think that's going to be real key focus on the weekend when we haven't got it, it's about getting it back as, as quickly as we can and when we have got it it's making sure we, we can build pressure and hopefully score points and there'll clearly be a few changes from the Tonga match um, did you have a 23 for this weekend in mind before the Tonga game and has have any performances last weekend maybe sort of changed your mind about a few people oh look I think it, obviously the boys the, the extra boys that were playing on the weekend and there's, there's Lions boys and big but uh, boys who have played um, high profile games for us. So we're, we're obviously we know a couple of them are going to come back in. I think just from the weekend, I think a lot of the boys stood up in fairness. The, the new cappers, everyone, everyone performed, um, which was exciting. And probably it's getting harder to select teams now. In, in like I think with Scotland, a, a, we are building some depth, which is exciting for us. And it was great to see the boys be pretty ruthless on, on the weekend um, against Tonga. And I think that's for us as coaches. We know those selections are getting more and more difficult, which I think for us going forward is, is exciting. Great stuff. Best luck. Thanks, Steve. Thank you very much. Thanks, Jamie. Uh, do we move on to the 10 pm embargo then, please? Steve, Steve, can I, Steve, can I just um, go back to the two Rory's? Um, I take it Rory Dodge, it's the ankle injury picked up against Leinster. And with Rory Sutherland, I'm, I'm sorry if I should know, is, what part of his body is he hurt? I think so. it's oblique. I think it's oblique he's hurt. So he just, yeah. Oblique? Hmm. All right. Yeah, look, it's, it's his side, yeah. All right, sorry, yeah. I knew that. <laughs> yeah. You put me on the spot with those. Like, I'm not a medic, so that could be wrong. And, Rory, and Rory's, I, I, yeah. and Rory's the ankle that like, he's... <laughs> Rory's the ankle he's been struggling with. Rory Darge, sorry, is the ankle he's, he was struggling with before, presumably. Yeah, yeah. from Leinster. Yeah. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Thank you. And are they both, both out for the duration? Are they all tests now, Steve, you were saying? Or yeah, I think there's, there's, a, there's a good chance of that, yeah. How, how big a blow is maybe Rory Sutherland? Because obviously Rory Darge hasn't played yet, but you're, you're losing a British line there. Oh, yeah, I think it's, um, yeah, look, I've, I've been someone like Susan around the environment and the performances put in on, on the Lions tour and previous Scotland. It's obviously um, a blow for us, but uh, we, Scooey came in and played well the weekend. We called a couple of boys, Jamie Batty came off the bench, done well. Um, you've got Robin Hislop, who's been playing lots of minutes for Walsh to start in, and, and Nick. So I think there's plen plenty of depth there. And obviously, Kebble was on the other side the weekend, so I feel. 
look, it's, it's super disappointing to lose um, to someone like Sez. But I think, again, look, going back to the squad depth and, and what we're trying to create, we need we need depth um, in and around our teams because, you know, in around the game, it's, it's pretty brutal for the boys in and around at the minute and you're always getting injuries. But the, so, and again, an injury for Sez means an opportunity for someone else to go and perform in that Scotland jersey. Excuse me, ignorance. Um, I take it he did it on club duty, yeah? Pardon? I take it he picked up his injury, his injury on club duty. Yeah. Right, that's it. And final one from me. Can you confirm that all your exiles are back? Finn Russell's with you, Stuart Hogg's with you, Chris Harris, uh, Adam Hastings, they're all back. Yeah, they're all yeah, back. All, they're all, all back fit and today. available for selection. Yeah. That's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Steve, can I ask, uh, you were obviously at the call face with the Lions against the Springboks this summer. Were you surprised the way that Australia dealt with them, beating them twice, the way they did, especially the way they did in the second test when they played really an open style of rugby and it was very effective? Yeah, look, I, th- I thought they played some really, really good rugby. Um, and how and the end they beat the world champions twice is, is an outstanding achievement. And that's where probably coming into the weekend, we know... Now, we're going to have to be on the money. We're going to have to be like where we were in around Six Nations, beating France and, and, and things like that. So we know we're going to have to perform, but we do believe in, in, in ourselves and how we can implement our own game. And it's, it's going to be um, an outstanding test match for us. Yeah, they are going to be missing three key players, though, who haven't been released from Japan. Is that going to be a major factor? I'm thinking particularly Quay Cooper, who has had a very good uh, rugby championship. Yeah, he's played really well and... Look, I think the depth they've got, they've got, I think James O'Connor's back. Um, and, and again, they've, they've got depth and experience right across the team. And look, everyone's missing boys. Like you could look at, we, we've got boys missing as well. And I think that's part of sport, the international sport as well. It's, it's about that depth and it's, it's about the opportunity. And I got no doubt, like us, whoever will represent Scotland or Aussie jerseys, they, they, they're going to give it their utmost. And it's going to be um, a, a real outstanding test match. Yes, Steve. I think um, I think I'm right in saying that six of the past seven games between Scotland and Australia have been settled by less than the margin of a converted try. Do you see that as? Do you read anything into that as an indicate? You know, even at different times, there's been big gaps in the world rankings between the two teams. Do you see that as like somehow they, they, they you bring the best or, or even the worst out of each other? I think look. I suppose it, it's a start. It is what it is, and I think it's uh, like the end of the day. You look, you can look at stuff in, in your own history and, and what that looks like. But for me, it's about Saturday and just in our own being ourselves, who we can be and how we can implement our game. I think what's what's gone is gone. Um, I think it's just about us playing a Murray Field in front of a, a full house and setting a tone out and around how we want to go and undertake the game and. I, I, I look. I think it'll be an outstanding test match. It's, it's super exciting for us as coaches and players to play a team like Australia and probably on the run they're on as well. Like not not losing five games or winning five games, beating South Africa. Um, I thought they played some really good stuff against New Zealand. So and and ultimately they're up to, to third in the world. And I know how excited the boys are to to perform on, on Saturday. Do you think that maybe it um, there's less of a hang up in Scottish minds about playing Australia that? You know, given that they've beaten twice away in the last ten years and stuff like that, 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 that maybe it's just going with a little more confidence than you might against uh, against New Zealand. Well, look, I think I think this, the belief is growing in around our performances, and I think the look is, is good record, and they've had some outstanding wins over Australia. Um, but I think wherever we play, I think we believe in our style of rugby and and how we want to undertake it. And I think look for us. It's about getting back in that rhythm. Obviously, we, we, we've chalked off a couple of milestones of beating England and Twickenham, um, winning in France, beating Wales away from home, which hadn't happened in a long time. So I think there, there is that underlying confidence, but ultimately we know it's, it's, it's another, like at the end of the day, it's another huge test match for us and hopefully we can, we can knock someone else over on, on Saturday. Great, thanks. Any more questions for Steve? Could I just fire in with one final one? The um, there was a bit of concern about the penalty count against Scotland on um, on Saturday. Has that taken up much of your time since? Given I think I think most of them were in or in or around the breakdown, weren't they? Yeah, look, it was, it was nine penalties. I think we give away, and probably 
um, it, it could have been worse because there was a sort of penalty advantage played on top. Um, yeah, there was a couple there that we, we, we've got to tidy up on. There was a couple of probably cheap offsides, um, which we felt um, we, we can do better at. And obviously against Australia, we don't want to be defending in, in around 22 or, or, or giving cheap points up or building pressure on ourselves. And ultimately, we ended up with a yellow card as well, which is something we don't really want to do against any team. But in particular, people like uh, teams like Australia who play some uh, well, outstanding rugby. So we know we, we're going to have to be really smart and run that penalty count and, and hold our discipline in particular around the, the offsides. Okay, cheers, thanks. Steve, so just one final one, and I might be wrong in this, but Schumann played the whole 80 minutes, didn't he, on, on Saturdays? Am I right? No. Uh, no. no, no. <laughs> uh, how, how long was he on for and what did you make of him? Uh, Scott, uh, yeah, look, I think he's, he's fitted into the environment. Um, yeah, look, I think that he's started really well and I think he's only going to grow grow in our environment and and, and he's enjoying it. He's really focused. Um, I thought it was a good start for Scooey, but obviously there's a, big, there's a big test coming the weekend if he's involved. So it's just something that we just got to keep building on those performances from everyone. Cheers, thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you everyone. I'll get Matt with us in two minutes. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Steve. Good save, thanks. Thanks, Rob, they replaced.